Hello, this is Patrick with 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this video is demonstrate the brand new 2D cut chain ramp option provided by 1CNC XR5. Now, in this example, I have a part with four cavities, and surrounding each cavity is a deep slot. Each one of these slots is 125 thousandths wide and also 300 thousandths deep. Now, you'll also note that I have another layer here called slots. On that layer, I have some geometry created that's right along the center line of each one of those slots. You can see that right there in the light gray. Let's turn our model layer off so all we can see is just our slot geometry. All right, we're going to head over to the main toolbar. Underneath the cam category, we'll select stock tool pass, and then we'll select cut chain 2D. I'm going to grab just that slot right there. That looks good. Now you can see I already have a tool selected. It's 125 thousandths diameter. The depth looks good at minus 300 thousandths. And now within XR5, we have a brand new page here called Path Creation. There's three different toolpath styles you can choose from. There's none. That'll take the tool, plunge to depth, cut the slot. There's one called Cut Increments. That's going to plunge, and it's going to use a cut increment for each pass. And then we have a new one here called Ramp. Now what this allows you to do is to take the tool and to ramp down as we're making our cut. Now I already have a ramp angle set here at 5 degrees. Let's go ahead and execute that. I'm going to rotate this around and zoom in so you can see exactly what's happening. So you can see now the tool comes in and it ramps down at 5 degrees as it's cutting. Once it flattens out, it continues along the bottom of the slot for a finish pass and then it pulls out of the slot. Very, very nice. Now there's another option that you can utilize as well. Let's quickly edit this. We'll head back to our ramp page here. There's another option here called Max Ramp Depth. I'm going to set this to 50 thousandths. That looks good. We'll click OK. So what's happening here is we're still ramping, ramp all the way around, but the distance between each one of these ramped passes is 50 thousandths. And the same thing happens. Once it gets to the bottom, it's going to flatten out and make a finished pass all the way around the bottom and then come back up. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.